of these barracks not doing much damage but forcing a stim so with only one medevac here it will drain its entire energy and render it completely useless in the following battles so nice harass here by Idra still not tanking up he is staring on lair tech for now he does have the double evo chamber but not doing anything you can see he doesn't have a single upgrade yet he is just now starting melee level 1 and carapace level 1 not getting flyer attack he did get flyer attack level 1 earlier I missed that so these O1 plus 1 uh, plus 1 mutilists are actually able to take down turrets quite effectively these turrets if they're not upgraded about 20 mutilists are able to one and a half shot turrets and while they take down the turrets the glaive worm actually bounce on the on the SCVs and take those out. A nice little harass here, gonna take down the supply depot. He could take down this FCV while it's building a turret, but four, five turrets in the main base will thwart away Idra for now. But forcing these Marines to actually uh, run back just a bit, forcing another stim. You can see this medevac is tired of healing, does not have as much energy as it would like to. It would basically like to have a 120 energy right now. Dr tank drop gonna be for DDE, but no, he decides to just drop on the low ground, it was an elevator. These Neolists trying to harass this planetary fortress, these Marines go coming up one by one, getting picked off by the Mutilists, so nice control here by Idra, not actually losing a single Mutilist. One is in the orange, but not too big of a deal, no Queen at this third base, just fourth base just yet. And finally, Idra does manage to saturate these four bases, so now his economy will start to show, and his supply is now 20 ahead of the Terran. And now he is just now getting his infestation pit, gonna start teching towards Hive and these mutas will keep VDA occupied while he does that. So nice comeback by Idra knowing that these mutas will allow him to get match control and that is so many mutas. I actually selected a rock here. That is 24 mutas. This is... He is able to one-shot turrets right now. One Thor. He has to be careful not to clump up these mutas too much because that Thor can actually damage all of them in a single shot. A lot of lings in the middle of the map, but Idra still pumping out only mutas. Five more in production. He now has a way too many mutas. He actually has still 24, so lost 3 mutas in that little engagement. But I mean, 24 mutas will win against 24 marines, even if they do have an upgrade advantage. Mutas are simply one on one, a muta will win against a marine. The marines are so good against mutas because they are cheap and can stim. But if Idra can actually keep forcing stims and pick off single marines at a time, he will be able to actually win this engagement eventually. He has to be careful of that Thor though, keep those mutas separated. These lanes gonna try and get a surround here on this army. The tanks are very far back, so not doing as much damage as he could. They're gonna chase down the marines. These mutas gonna magic box on top of everything. This Thor gonna go down, and once this Thor goes down, this is not gonna be enough marines to actually hold back the mutas. Idra deciding to actually run back home his second Thor sealing the deal for DDE and now he is left with a handful of Marines one Thor and two tanks which can be very dangerous Idra deciding to re-engage here gonna magic box everything these Marines are very wounded and the medevacs don't have any energy to heal them and now Idra with his massive mute account will be able to clean this up one the Thor gonna walk back to the missile turrets, so DDE is very safe with this line of missile turrets. He, this is his bunker, his small point. The mutas can't engage Thors and missile turrets at the same time. The Thors will just damage too many of them and the missile turrets will finish them off. These mutas are in danger of actually engaging here, not paying attention for a second, losing a single muta. Not too big of a deal, but you always want to get that muta count up. Still producing only mutas here by Idris, who is really committing to this flyer attack. Plus two, almost done. And his hive just now starting another expansion at the top most, send, uh, the top most starting point of the map. These mutas gonna fall back to the main base of DDE and harass a lot more. You can see these turrets falling down so fast in this whole big group of mutas. 21 mutas, almost one shot turrets. You can see that he, he took off two turrets and an assimilator here. 
on a simulator, a refinery, because he is Terran. Throwing down three more turrets. Might be able to actually uh, harass this planter fortress to death. Pulling out a few marines, he could have actually put that off, but Idra decides to actually head back home. Meanwhile, our Terran player is throwing down a command center in the middle of the map, and he basically has all the tech he wants. He is getting plus three on his marines and plus two armor on them, not upgrading his his uh, mech just yet, he does have plus one weapon, huge engagement here by Idra deciding to engage, losing almost all his mutas, but uh, these lings might actually be able to clean this up because there are no tanks here, surprisingly by DDE, he was so for focused, he was so focused on the Thors that he forgot to produce any kind of tanks, maybe he actually lost a few in the first moments of the engagement that I missed. But Idra having a nice exchange here, but he did lose all his mutas. He does have to reproduce those, those, and those are very expensive. So now it is five bases against three. DDE heading for his fourth base. His main is mined out. His natural is almost mined out. He has about 400 minerals left on these topmost patches and only 100 on these bottom ones. So he will be transferring a lot of drone SCVs down there. SCVs in the middle of the map gonna repair the Thors. These mutas are gonna check for an expansion up here. He will catch it and might actually be able to kill a few SCVs before they finish this turret. This injured SCV is in danger. One turret does not finish but uh, loses the mutas. Meantime, DDE is actually gonna push with only four Thors and nothing else. One Thor on the high ground, chilling up here saying, look at me, I'm the boss. And gonna start actually doing a lot of damage here. Nothing can actually hit the Thor except for these Mutas. Magic bossing this uh, uh, high ground Thor. Very wise by Idra. Gonna magic box the rest. Of sending in a lot of Lings and a lot of Banes. Killing everything here. So Idra actually looking good now in this engagement. Has a lot of Lings. These tanks are late to siege up. They won't do as much damage as they could. These marines are stimmed and shooting away at the rest of these lings and banelings and eventually thwarts away Idra once more. But that was a good engagement by Idra. You can see he has the supply advantage now by almost 40 supply. Only a few lings and tanks for DDE. He can't push forward on the creep because he will get surrounded in just an instant. Idra actually going to push forward with these banelings. Might be able to actually get these marines but pushing them back able to pick off that tank and now Idra is free to actually push into the main base he won't be able to engage this planetary fortress but he might be able to do a lot of damage he decides that that is enough damage for him picking off that Terran army is so important because Idra, Idra can replenish in about two seconds while DDE will be forced to actually produce units one by one by all his from all his production buildings so now 173 to 124 supply Idra looking great only three turrets here he could engage with these marines is stimming and not getting any marines here this medivac is all out of energy already so these marines will stay injured so if he forces a lot of stims here this could be great actually by Idra because these marines will stay injured for the rest of the game a huge ling pack you can see there are actually 104 lings for Idra still not on hive deck so he did get, he didn't even get cracked for his link, surprisingly enough. He should really get those adrenal glands. And sitting on plus one, plus two, actually. So not too far ahead on the upgrades. DDE does have the huge upgrade advantage, but Idra now is nearing max. He, ha he is producing infestors to fungal growth, these marines. DDE will try and push here, but this is not wise. He could actually just get surrounded and picked off by all these lings. The lings alone would be enough to actually take out this army. But these two, three marines are very potent against this composition. DDE deciding, trying to run these marines off, but that is not good because it leaves all these tanks so vulnerable. And as I said, this is enough lings to pick off the new marines. With the tank support, it is very close. But these uh, Mutas actually uh, cleaning up the rest. He could have picked off these marines. They are all very injured, and this medivac has absolutely no energy. And now morphing Broodlords with Infestors, Idra just wanted to free up some supply to be able to max out on better units. 
Still no Ultras by Idra, but this Greater Spire will enable him to morph in a lot of Broodlords. Five Broodlords and no Vikings on the field. Now only two Vikings on the field actually with the main army, but that won't be enough because there are a lot of Mutas and no Corruptors actually, but a lot of Mutas can easily deal with Vikings. Vikings are not very good against Mutas, and if he can get good position, he needs to actually protect these Vikings from the Mutas, and he does not manage to. These Vikings will get picked off, and as soon as there are no more Vikings, these Broodlords will just work wonders on DDE. So now these Broodlords are gonna wreak havoc on this Planetary Fortress with the tank siege up. It's even worse, they just do splash damage to their own units. This tank gonna be actually just caught off guard and picked off quite easily. Realizing that he turns around and this is gonna have to be game by DD. He will make a final stand but he has no answer to these Broodlords. He's not even producing Vikings right now. Just now starting two Vikings. These Broodlords will do so much damage. Now forced to unseage his tanks. These Lings can actually just running and run in and pick everything off. Two Medivacs are gonna join the fight and be able to heal these Marines. But if uh, Idra controls these Broodlords correctly, he should easily be able to finish this game off. Especially if he, if DDE pushes those Marines forward again, they are in danger of being fungled. And he GG's out of here. He knows he is beat. And there it is. Idra 2 O's in this series. Hopefully you like this, guys. The second game was pretty intense. And tune in for more casts.